All right, so in this problem, we're looking at questions where they're asking us to fill in the missing parts. So here, each of these, and you might be able to tell right away, I mean, if you're watching this video, you probably saw the title of it, but we're dealing with the difference of cubes. And the general formula that you are hopefully learning by now, or kind of getting used to, is that if you have something, A, cubed minus b cubed, you can factor that out by writing a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Now this formula, let me move this out of the way, this formula can help us solve all of these right here. So in the first one, notice it's something minus y cubed. Okay, well here in the first part, look what they give us. They put an x there, and if you look at the formula, the first thing that goes here is a, and that's taken from the first term, which is a cubed. So that means a cubed gave us a in the formula. So what would give us x? Well, x cubed. That's our first blank. And we keep going. Minus what? Well, again, the formula says take b, or the base, from b cubed, and that gives you this term right here. So we have y cubed, so here we just put a y. And now the first term in this part of the expression, well, following the formula, it says take the first term a and square it. So our first term is x cubed. Okay, so we square the first term, which is a, or just the base, in this case just x, and we square it, so x squared. Here we add an xy, just like we have a, b here. And we finish with squaring b. Well, in our case, we don't have a b, we have a y. So we finish off with y squared. In the next example, I think we'll see a, a very similar kind of thing happening. Now we don't know at all what we're starting with. But again, if we look to this, we see that there's an x there. So this term has to be, again, x cubed. Now we subtract something. Well, look what we have here. It's 4y, and in the formula, we subtract just b, or the base, so 4y must be the base. But we don't put 4y here. We put 4y cubed. I think one of the important things here is to put parentheses around the 4 and the y, um, because really, 4 and y is all part of the base. It's all being cubed. So really, you would typically see this as... Um, 64 y cubed and this is the same thing all I did was take 4 and cube it because this little exponent cubed here applies to everything we cube the y we cube the 4 4 cubed is 64 and y cubed is just y cubed either of these would be fine here but when we finish off our equation in the very last step we square our second term and our second term is the whole thing 4 y so how do we square 4y? Well, we square the 4 and get 16, and we square the y and get y squared. And now, finishing off, uh, here we have lots of blanks, but all the information we need is right here. Right? 3x has to be our a term right here. So our first mystery number is going to be 3x, and of course it has to be a cube, so 3x cubed. And like I said before, you might want to rewrite this as 27x cubed. That's typically how you'd see it, because 3 cubed is 27, and x cubed is x cubed. So you cube both parts. Here, 2y squared, that whole thing needs to be the base. So 2y squared is what we're cubing now. All right, look at our, our original formula. You take b cubed and write just b here. In other words, you just write the base. So we cube this whole thing. How do we do that? Well, we cube both parts. 2 cubed is 8. That's the coefficient. And y cubed is y to the 6th. That just goes back to the, the basic idea that if you have y squared, so we start with, that's y times y. And we're cubing that. So we're taking y times y three times. And if you look at what this is, that really means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 y's multiplied, which is y to the 6th. So now that we know that our second term is 8y to the 6th, we can fill in these blanks here. Let's start with the middle blank. Here, This we're just going to multiply a and b. So in our case, I'm going to clear some of this off up here. Get my eraser tool. 
that's <laughs> that's not gonna help let me enlarge this tool he's right here yeah, that's good so I just need some more room to work out some of these problems okay I think this eraser is really fun because it cleanly erases and phase the problem out okay so now let me go back to my pen tool here uh, we're going to multiply a and b so we're going to multiply 3x right and we're going to multiply that by 2y squared. How do we do this? Well, we multiply the two coefficients, 3 and 2, to get 6. x and y squared can't really be combined, so we just leave it as 6xy squared. That's the product of both a and b, right? the original two parts. And in this part here, we're going to square 2y squared. And that's going to be very similar to what we did here, except we're not cubing it, we're squaring it. So 2 squared is 4. y squared squared is y to the 4th. So in this location, we put 4y to the 4th. And here, in this location, we're going to square the first term. It's going to be 3x, the whole thing, squared. So we square the 3 and get 9. We square the x and get x squared. And that goes right here. So in these problems, really, we're just executing um, the difference of two squares factoring formula um, and using what we know about the formula to fill in the blanks. So I hope that helped.